Hello, on Brickme here, and today I'm gonna show you how you can make your own LEGO Technic self-parking car using PowerDub. First, I will show you the self-parking process itself, and then I will explain the tutorial on how you can program a self-parking car yourself too. As you can see here, I used the 4x4 Xtreme off-roader, and I essentially used the PowerDub app to code it and to have it fully autonomously self-park. It requires zero input from me. I can just run the program from my tablet and it's gonna self-park all automatically. The LEGO Technic 4x4 Xtreme off-roader actually has this one extra port on the main Control Plus hub, which I just used to connect the color and distance sensor over here. And as you can see, I made it nice and flush with the overall exterior of the 4x4 Xtreme off-roader. And I did use some one by one pieces here just to kind of levitate the distance sensor a little bit above all the Technic elements inside of the car. As soon as you start the program, the very first thing the car does is it calibrates the steering wheels and it makes sure that the wheels are in the center so that way the car can go exactly straight. Then using the color and distance sensor, the car just goes forward and looks at the boundaries of the parking space. And I did use some boxes to represent the uh, cars in a real parking lot. Now essentially when it gets to this last border over here, the car turns a little bit to the left and then it reverses while also turning right, essentially just brilliantly aligning itself in the parking space right in the middle it's super beautiful. And in case you were wondering, the parking space itself is actually 16 inches wide. Now I'm gonna show you how you can program a self-parking car in LEGO Technic using PowerDub. All right, so here in the PowerDub app, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to code a self-parking car. Now, the very first thing you wanna do when you start coding this is place a start block right over here. Then we're gonna start coding the actual return to center uh, steering calibration part of it. Uh, first, we grab this motor block, set it to motor C because in the uh, Xtreme off-roader, that is the motor that is responsible for the steering. Then we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait about one second. Then we need to reset the relative position to zero. We take this block right over here and set it to motor C. Then we need to take a the very first block, uh, motor C, which is gonna be the steering motor, negative 50, so it turns in the other direction. Now we wait for two seconds so that way it can complete its uh, full turn. Now here comes the interesting part. We need to take one specific block, which is this one right over here, this one, this block right over here is not to be confused with this block. These are completely different. The block on the right that I'm showing you here is return to position. So it returns to position zero, whereas this one moves a certain number of degrees. So we make it port C. Let's make it 100%. Why not? Then what we need to do is uh, take a division block right over here. We need to divide the rotations by two. What are we exactly dividing? We are dividing the relative position of the motor. Now we wanna reset the relative position to zero once again. So we will take just this block right over here. Boom, we reset the relative position back to zero once again. The next block you wanna take is uh, this one right over here. We wanna set it to pair AB and have it go forward at negative 20%. So the car goes forward and now we're gonna have a wait until block. It's gonna wait until it drives past the first border of the parking space. So we need to get a comparison block greater than nine, and we take this block right over here, and then set the distance sensor to port D. Then we wanna have the car go forward once again. We grab another wait until block, and be very careful. Now we need to have it be less than 10, and we need to put the distance sensor once again over here, set it to port D. Now we wanna stop motors A, B. This is very simple, you just stop the motors. Now we wanna have the steering turn all the way to the left. We're gonna do this by taking this block right over here, port C, have it go at negative 50 and 100 degrees. Then we're gonna have the car drive forwards a little bit, so we will take this block once again, set it to port a, B, negative 20 at 700 degrees. Next, we wanna have the wheels turn all the way to the right. We're gonna take another block, like so, port C, and have it turn 400 degrees to the right. We take another block and have the car drive in reverse, 20% at 2000 degrees. Then when the car is done parking, all we need to do is to return the steering back to center, so that way the car looks nice. We're just gonna do this by taking this block right over here, return to relative position zero, port 
see here's the complete code over here this is how everything should look like and do keep in mind that this setup works best with the lego technic 4x4 extreme off-roader if you are using a different lego technic car you will need to configure some values uh, specifically how much the car steers and how much the car goes backwards in reverse while parking i hope you're also able to make a self-parking car by yourself and let me know down in the comments below if you are planning to make a lego technic self-parking car based on the code i have provided the car in this video was brought by me. I'm Umbrickby's friend. Be sure to check out some of his other videos too. This is Forbes here. I'll see all of you later.